Hello, this is very awkward. Today we are going to be taking some self-portraits. I'm still sick, so that's why my voice is a little bit hard to listen to, so I apologize. But autumn waits for no one, and I really need to photograph these trees before all the leaves are gone. I am using the Canon R6 and a remote control, and I'm using the Sony a7C II with the 20-70 f4 lens to record all this. Now it's 7 degrees Celsius and very cloudy. The lens I'm going to be using is a 24-105 f4, and the reason for this is because this is my first time doing self-portraiture in this back forest, so I don't really know how wide or how zoomed in I want to be. Once I do more of these types of shoots, I think I'll be able to know what focal length is best and I'll just take out the prime lens that would be best suited for this kind of thing. So I have my lens zoomed in at 85 millimeters and I'm going to be standing, I don't know if you can see it, I'm going to be standing at that rock over there because that is what the, um, that's my like, uh, reference point and then I'm going to see how those shots turned out. Let's go. Okay, now I'm going to turn the LCD screen back to myself so I can get an idea of where things are. Oh, I think 85 is way too, too zoomed in for self-portraiture. I either go in closer and do 50 millimeters or, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. When I'm further away and I'm really tiny, it gives a sense of scale and which is what I was going for. I wanted to look tiny amongst all of these 100 foot trees or 20 meter trees. It definitely does that, but it's a lot more challenging to do because I can't hear the shutter. So there's no feedback. Facial expressions are probably going to be all over the place. Poses are going to be all over the place. So I think this time I'm going to do 35. Um, that's probably a more like environmental type of portrait uh, focal length. So I'm gonna also turn my uh, tripod towards this leaning tree because that looks really interesting. Okay, let's figure this out. I don't love it, but I'm gonna work with it. Let's see, it's okay. I'm just a terrible model. Like I don't know how to pose. <laughs> That's the thing about self-portraiture is that you don't have anyone to give you feedback. There are a few good ones in here. Some, I think, I think when you're farther away, it's a little bit more forgiving. You're a tiny little speck, but when I'm closer to the camera, I'm definitely more conscious of every little detail of my face and that sucks. It's getting cold. I think it's probably closer to six or five degrees Celsius right now, so it's very pretty, but um, no sun, no warmth. Where I live in the winter time, it's like six months of the year is winter. The weather can go from minus 10 degrees Celsius to all the way to like minus 40 degrees Celsius, like on a regular basis. So I don't know if I'm gonna do outdoor self-portraiture throughout the winter. But it might be fun, and if I figure out a quick way to just do it and plan it out in my mind, I think these videos will go a lot smoother. 
Again, I really admire those who do photography YouTube by themselves. I think this is, I think this is a lot of fun. It, it helps me stay outside and not inside. It uh, helps me not play video games all day. Because if I didn't do photography, I'd be playing video games. And if I played video games, my brain would melt. I think photography is a great hobby. There's so much to learn and discover. And there's so much to perfect and master and get better at. I think it's a worthwhile hobby. I've been shooting since I was very young. So that doesn't mean I'm any good. It just means I've been doing it for a long time and it is the only familiar hobby I have in my life. I don't really want to take up underwater basket weaving or um, other niche hobbies that just add no value except personal joy and satisfaction. And yeah, I'm just gonna stick with it. Everything's hard. You just have to choose your hard. I think photography's hard, videography's hard, modeling is hard. Uh, so just choose your heart. Everything is going to be a challenge. Otherwise, why would you do it? Oh god. Oh, the air is so crisp. It's like crisp autumn air. Oh great, my camera strap has gone undone. Hold on. Oh, no, it's attacking me. Oh, no, my hair. Okay like this lens 20 millimeters it's wide enough it's wide enough I don't need 16 to 35 I don't need all of you so I'm back inside now and I'm reviewing my images I think the reason why the experience just feels a little flat is because I'm sick I got about maybe 12 13 good photos yeah I think uh, when I'm feeling better, I think I'll definitely feel better when I'm doing these videos. But for the moment, everything sucks when you're sick. Everything's harder when you're sick. So I'll try again another time. The problem is, is that fall is coming to an end and I don't think I'm going to have very good landscapes as a backdrop. So when I feel better, I think all the leaves are going to be gone from the trees and it's just going to be a bare forest. It may even start to snow really soon. We've had snow as early as November. Maybe that's a new challenge for me. It's just gonna get worse, but whatever. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!